Hello, my name is Damien. I'm down here in West Palm Beach, Florida, and I'm going to be showing you another boat by Marine Connection. It is a 1997 Maxim 28 SCR, and it's powered by a Merc Cruiser 7.4 liter motor. Now, our service department has done a mechanical inspection. Everything has checked out fine. What we're going to do today is we're going to do an overview of the boat, then we're going to take it out for a ride, show you how the boat runs. Starting at the back of the boat, there's a swim platform with a recessed boarding ladder over on the starboard side of the boat. You have two aft cleats and then over on the right side or on the starboard side you do have your gas fill or fuel fill and your water fill as well. A couple of rod holders mounted on the uh, gunnels and then you have a nice little grab rail all the way around and in front of that grab rail there's a rear bench seat with a backrest, another rod holder attached to that. Nice uh, little picnic area back here in the cockpit with the table. Do some refreshments and whatnot. You have a little storage bin or ice bin if you wanted to. Put some refreshments. Uh, removable bench seat over on the port on the starboard side. And then you have this seat over here with a footrest directly behind the passenger and co-passenger uh, co uh, seat. The cockpit below, if I open this up, you have easy access. You have two hatches that uh, have easy access down to the engine compartment to do any maintenance and whatnot. Boat is equipped with dual batteries and switch. Uh, down below we also have a hot water heater and uh, you also have the pump for the air conditioner. So uh, battery charger is also located down there. Easy access though, easy maintenance if you have to do it to the boat. Little storage compartment, fender stock lights and whatnot. Nice radar arch with two courtesy lights and then you have your bimini top. Right now we don't have the enclosure up but you'll see it in the uh, pictures. Stepping up towards the uh, helm station. At the helm station, we have a nice comfortable chair. As you can see, you have a couple more uh, seats here for two more people if you wanted to. Um, VHF radio, trim tabs, display of gauges, compass up front, and uh, all your accessory switches are uh, conveniently located on both to the right and left of the wheel here. Um, the horn does not work on a boat, but your blower, bilge pump, courtesy lights and whatnot are operational at the time. And uh, we don't have a depth sounder on the boat. So you could have one install the digital depth sounder, they're inexpensive. At the center we have a couple steps going up to this walk through the windshield. Give you easy access up to your anchor if you want to deploy the anchor. I did forget to mention we also have a remote spotlight all the way forward up on the pulpit. And the boat is equipped with a fortress anchor which is a very nice anchor. Coming down into the cabin. What's below in the cabin, We on the uh, starboard side of the cabin, we do have a galley. We have a microwave, one rate stove, and then we have an ice box. It was a refrigerator at one time, but it's not operational, so we're calling it an ice box. Plenty of uh, utensil storage. And then over on the left, we have our stereo switches for our lights. And then we have our panel for our shore power. The boat is equipped with a battery charger, water heater, which I mentioned before, which does work. The range and uh, air conditioner. The air conditioner works great. Cools the boat down and uh, does a great job. So, as far as coming forward, we have a forward berth. Our controls for the AC. Little seat over here. Little storage cabinet. And then over on the port side of the boat, we have a this dinette. Um, if you wanted to, we don't have the filler cushion, but this could convert into a berth. Uh, but you do have the dinette with the table. And then you have a little slot that you can put your utensils in there, as far as forks, knives, spoons, whatever, whatnot. A couple of cup holders. And then coming down from the stairs, we do have our get our bathroom here. Okay, we have a shower curtain, does have a shower, and you have your uh, marine head, which does, does go to a uh, holding tank. So, and then finally, you can't see it right now, but if the cameraman gives me the camera here. We do have a nice berth at cabin sleeper. Okay, plenty of lighting down below. Two adults could sleep comfortably there. So that pretty much concludes the uh, overview of the uh, 28 Maxim. Let's fire it up and take it out for a quick spin.
that concludes the video on the uh, 1997 Maxim 28. Hope you enjoyed it. Folks, the upholstery on the boat, uh, top side's in great condition. Down below, it's in good condition as well. Um, cosmetically speaking, the gel coat on the outside does show some scratches here and there, typical for the year of the boat. And uh, motor runs great, as you just saw in the video. So, from West Palm Beach, Florida, my name is Damien. If you have any questions, you can call me or write me an email. For Marine Connection, God bless. Have a great day.